Yes. It is a local community that has been historically plagued with violence, but the police chief in East St. Louis says he's seeing progress in fighting crime. News 4's Denton Blandon asked the chief what his department is doing to keep things going the right direction. Fewer than four miles across the river, some East St. Louis neighborhoods are torn by unkept property, plagued with poverty and stifled by crime. Yet, as Demarcus Miller waits at an East St. Louis bus stop, he sees a bright spot. I think the crime rate has gotten, but has gotten lower though than it has been before. Miller is confident things will only get better. And a lot of it plays in just sign of the times. I mean, um, a lot of things are done differently in the past that they're done now. Last year, East St. Louis police recorded 36 homicides. The number was 22 in 2018 and 37 in 2017. In his eight months as police chief, Kendall Perry has taken an aggressive approach to violent crime. I make sure myself that I respond to every homicide that we have, whether it's three or four in the morning, I'm going to be there. He says his investigators cleared 44% of homicides last year. That's up from 30% the previous year. Just because you have a suspect technically does not mean that that's who did it or that's who's going to get charged or convicted. While Chief Kendall Perry is noticing a positive impact when it comes to the number of homicide cases cleared, he's also making note of how many weapons officers take off the streets. He says that really matters. Well, I don't know how much of a um, impact it is as far as our homicides, but when you receive 127, 130 guns in one year, that's going to put an impact on all crime because whether we get that person charged or not, we still have that weapon off the street. The chief also credits the improvements on getting the help of Illinois State Police and the U.S. Attorney's Office. In East St. Louis, Vincent Blandon, News 4.